It's been a little over a month since 22-month-old Aiden McClendon was killed in a drive-by shooting. The toddler was sitting in a car with his mother and grandmother on Jacksonville's east side. Police say he was the unintended target of gang violence. Today, his family celebrated his birthday without him. A giant cake, balloons, and a bounce house. The makings of a huge party for a little boy who won't get to enjoy any of it. He's not physically here, but he is here in spirit. Family and friends say they're celebrating Aiden McClendon's birthday as they would if he were alive. Mary Thomas says she's focusing on the warm memories of his bright smile, not how he was taken away. I know that there is a greater good that's going to come from it, and God will get the glory from it. Now that Aiden's alleged killer is behind bars, there's some closure for family and friends, but it doesn't take away the pain of what happened to the toddler. That was the most cowardly act that they could have done, and it was the most hellish act that they could have done. Other community members came out to celebrate Aiden's birthday, including city council members. Gang activity, um, where you, they don't know what to do and they don't have any hope, so we... We're trying to, with the mayor and myself and council, we, we're trying to pass bills and laws to try to help the youth. The city says they're here to support the family because when one person is lost, the community hurts, especially when it's an innocent child. To let the kids know, that the families know, that the citizens just know that we're here for. Thomas says she's praying for the man responsible for Aiden's death, and she's hoping this can be a lesson to others to not take part in gang activity. I just plead for any who are involved to just walk away. Police arrested 16-year-old Henry Hayes earlier this month in connection to McClendon's death. Hayes is charged with two counts of attempted murder along with other charges.